Hello and welcome to the latest edition of WVU Medicine Tuesday Talks. I'm your host, Mary Ravazio Menard. Are you looking for work in healthcare? Maybe looking for a better employment opportunity? If so, then stick around because our topic today is job openings at WVU Medicine. We're West Virginia's largest private employer and hiring all positions throughout our health system, which includes hospitals and clinics throughout West Virginia and parts of Pennsylvania, Ohio, Maryland, and Virginia. We're also looking to fill positions in our new children's hospital, which opens early next year. So what are the job opportunities at WVU Medicine? Our first guest today, Leanne Kaminsky, will answer that question and more. Leanne is Chief of Human Resource, she's Chief Human Resources Officer at WVU Medicine. Welcome to Tuesday Talks, Leanne. Thank you for having me. We, we're very happy that you're here. Um, so, of course, we do welcome questions from our viewers. So feel free to post your WVU Medicine employment questions in the comments section, and we'll try to answer them for you live. Okay, Leanne, let's start here from the beginning. WVU Medicine is hiring, so can you tell us a little bit about the range of positions that you're filling right now? So, so we are hiring for all levels of positions, um, entry level, clinical, non-clinical, up to leadership level positions. Um, you know, it runs the whole gamut. Um, across our health system right now, we have probably about 2,700 openings across our health system. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. So you guys are busy. Mm. We are very busy, <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, now, we should remind our viewers that last week, WVU Medicine announced it's requiring all employees to be fully vaccinated by October 31st. So if you want to work here, you need to be vaccinated. Correct. Okay. Now, um, I understand that there's a major emphasis on bedside nurses. Is that because of the nationwide nursing shortage right now? Yeah, it is. Um, and I actually think it's twofold for us. Um, you know, we, we have a significant number of openings for nurses across our organization. Um, in fact, we, we have over 600 um, bedside nursing positions open at all of our uh, facilities across the health system. Um, and part of that is due to, um, you know, supply and demand. You know, the, the country is not able, the nursing schools are just not able to output the amount of nurses that we need. Um, and a lot of that is due to our growth and our expansion across the state, um, as well as, um, I think, some of the effects of COVID over the last year and a half. You know, we have seen um, nurses leave the organization to go and travel. Um, because a, a lot of travel agencies are paying a lot of money um, to uh, get nurses to go to areas that are really, really in high need um, where they've um, been overwhelmed with COVID. Um, and so we, we have seen some of that. Um, and I think we've also seen um, some burnout, you know, folks working a lot, having to do, deal with, um, you know, the constant, um, you know, patients that are coming through that are dealing with, with this illness um, and just in some senses not seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and so I, I definitely think we have seen, seen some of that burnout too. It's a tough job. Yeah, it is. They, you know, the, it's, you know, everyone has a very, very hard job, but, you know, those nurses that are at the bedside, they, they're on their feet all day. Um, and, you know, I'm sure that it's, it's probably really hard for them to get a break you know, constantly being pulled in, in different directions. And um, it's a very, very, very taxing job on them. And, and we do the best we can here at WVU Medicine to, to support those bedside nurses. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, um, so are these positions, are these all shifts, part-time, full-time? Yes, so, um, you know, we have full-time positions, part-time positions available across the organization. Um, even casual per diem positions, um, you know, to work as needed. Um, we also have, in some areas, positions that are weekend only. Um, and, and one of the things that we have as part of our organization is we, um, in the last several years, we developed a nursing career ladder, and we call that CAPE. And that's a clinical advancement program for nurses. And so as they come into the organization, um, there are different levels of, of nursing positions that they can be in. Um, and it's based upon their experience, um, certifications that they have, education levels that they have. 
Um, and, and as they move through that career ladder, they have a higher potential um, for earning as well. Okay, so there's some, some incentives in there's place. There's some great developmental opportunities there um, for career progression. Okay. Yes. So what is WVU Medicine doing to compete with other healthcare organizations that are also facing a shortage? Mm -hmm. you know, what are we doing to compete to hire bedside nurses? You know, so, so, so we're doing um, multiple things. So number one, the, the nursing career ladder that I talked about, I think is, is a very special thing that we have that we can offer to our nurses. Um, as well as, um, you know, from a total rewards package, um, our, our benefits um, not only include, you know, the basic health um, and prescription coverage and those types of things, but we've recently um, enhanced our benefits. We offer dependent tuition um, as well as em employee tuition benefits. Um, that dependent tuition, um, if employees' dependents attend WVU, we, pr we provide 100% of the university tuition, and that's really unheard of these days. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, and so, you know, that is really a differentiating factor that we have um, for us as, as an organization. Um, we've I've also taken advantage of that program with <laughs> yeah. my sons, definitely. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. It's a huge help, um, huge help. And, and you know, and, and it doesn't take long to be eligible for that. So it's one of those things where we hope people come and they stay um, so that they can have, um, have that benefit. Um, we also have a student loan repayment program for our employees. And we actually have just enhanced that for our nurses. So we're offering additional money for nurses that have student loans to help them pay those off faster as well. well I imagine that's a popular incentive too. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. And you know, you combine that with flexibility and schedule yes. and you know. Ab absolutely. We um, you know, we're, we're very flexible in scheduling. Um, most of the departments do self-scheduling, um, you know, so you can pick what schedule you want to work. Um, typically for bedside nursing, they, they also are working 12-hour shifts, so they're only working three days a week. Um, and I think that's, that gives a lot of flexibility for folks to, you know, have a, a better work-life balance as well. Okay. So, you know, everybody always wants to know about the money. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is the pay range for bedside nurses right So, now? you know, it really depends on where you come in um, in our career ladder. Um, but typically a graduate nurse is starting out at about 28, 27 an hour. Um, and then, you know, that goes up, you know, through our career ladder to about 47, 70 an hour. Um, so it's a very competitive wages that we offer for our nurses. Um, and that's not including any um, in other incentives that we offer. Um, you know, depending on the shift that you work, you might be eligible for a shift differential if you're working a night shift or an evening shift um, or on the weekend, um, any type of different premium pays that we have, um, as well as, you know, and sometimes we're in situations where we, um, you know, offer additional bonuses, you know, for staffing if we're, if we're looking pe for people to pick up extra shifts as well. Wow. Okay. Now, um are you also offering signing bonuses we to are. hire nurses? We are. Um, we actually, um, for a limited time, um, we just recently announced um, for bedside nurses, um, we are offering up to um, a $30,000 sign-on bonus for nurses, wow. um, which is pretty significant. Yeah. Um, we are looking for a three-year commitment for a full-time nurse if, you know, for that $30,000. Um, but, you know, they'll get a portion of it right up front, and then it will get paid over the next two years, um, you know, for them to make that work commitment. And then we also have other levels of um, bonuses as well. If someone isn't willing to commit to that three years, we have one and two-year options as well. Oh, okay. So there's even some flexibility Absolutely. in the signing bonuses. Absolutely, yes. Wow, okay. Um, now, we have a total rewards program. Can you talk a little bit about exactly what that is? Yeah, so I was mentioning that a little bit earlier when I was, you know, talking about um, some of the things that we do for nurses um, in, in that total rewards. And so, you know, when we look at our benefit value, we, we look at that as a total rewards package, meaning, you know, there's a value to not only your health insurance, but the retirement benefits that you have, the tuition benefits that you have, any other type of employee bonuses or incentives that we have because we do have an employee incentive program too. So if the organization does well, the employee's eligible for an incentive as well. Um, and so those are the types of things when we talk about, you know, we have a total rewards program. Um, we're not just looking at, you know, 
the, you know, these are your benefits in terms of health and welfare and prescription, you know, but we're looking at all those other things like the tuition, the student loan assistance, um, benefits that not everyone else always offers. Yeah, the whole picture yes. here. Yes, yes. We're looking at the whole picture. Um, and we have an employee referral program too. We, we do, and we, we just launched um, the, the employee refer referral program a few weeks ago as well. And that's going to be in, in effect until um, the end of October. Um, and with that program, um, if an employee refers a candidate and they are hired, um, if they're a new candidate to, to the health system, um, that employee will receive a bonus. Um, and depending upon the type of position, um, will depend upon what that bonus is. Um, uh, for a bedside nurse, it's uh, twenty five hundred dollars, um, and for any other position, it's a thousand. Wow, that's significant too. It is, yeah. So we're really looking at our employees, who are one of our greatest resources, to really help you know provide us with you know friends and family that they know that they would recommend you know to come to work here. And I imagine they're. What are the advantages of being the, the largest private employer in the state? What, what are the advantage of working for an organization like that? You know, I, I think, you know, one of the, the really great advantages of being part of a system like this is, is the access that you have. Um, access to opportunities for mm -hmm. advancement and mobility. Um, when you think about it, you know, you you know, you could come to WV Medicine and start out at a position in Morgantown, and then, you know, two years later, see an opportunity for you maybe in Uniontown or, you know, in Parkersburg or, you know, out east. There's lots of opportunities for people. And because we have an integrated total rewards program, employees can go anywhere they want and take their benefits with them. There's no break in service. It's oh, yeah. everything just moves with you seamlessly. Um, and so you have that internal support of the system. Um, and then the other piece of access is, is you know, the, the access to care, right? And, right. you know, that's one of the most important things, too, that we provide to our employees as part of our benefit plan is, you know, if employees utilize our facilities, we're everywhere. You know, we're everywhere across the state now, um, even outside of the state. So um, lots of wonderful access to wonderful um, resources and physicians across the organization as well. Okay, so, you know, we have people watching and they're interested, you know, where do they go to apply? What, what should they do? Um, uh, they just need to visit us on our website at wvumedicine.org uh, slash mm -hmm. careers. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so wvumedicine.org slash careers. Okay, and um, before you go, I want to know what's the most important thing you want our viewers to know about hiring right now at WVU Medicine? Um, you know, I, I think one of the things that I would say, um, you know, in terms of hiring, you know, we're always looking for um, really good, dedicated individuals to, to join our organization um, that really are driven by um, patient care um, and, and empathetic individuals that, you know, want to be here to support the patients in our community. Um, I think we have an amazing culture um, I have worked at, you know, different organizations in my career. I've spent the last five years here, and I have never um, felt more embraced, you know, by, by a company or organization or felt more supported than I do here. And, and I think people will see that, you know, as they, as they come into the organization um, because it is, it's like a family. I agree. It's a really unique work culture. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Leanne, thank you so much for being with us thank and you. answering all of our questions. Um, but don't go away. We have one more guest. <laughs> Thank you, Leanne. Thank you. Okay, so if you're interested in seeing what positions are available and where to apply, the best place to go is wvumedicine.org slash careers. That's where you'll find open positions at any WVU Medicine hospital or clinic. Now, our next guest is Elaine Curtis. WVU Medicine Associate Vice President of Talent Acquisition, and she's here to talk about the benefit package offered to WVU Medicine employees. Elaine, welcome to Tuesday Talks. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Good to have you. Good to have you. <laughs> All right, so let's talk benefits. Yeah. You know, that's that's always an important part in addition to, to, to salary. Absolutely. First of all, uh, do you offer 
full benefits packages to both part-time as well as full-time employees. We do. We do. Um, we're very proud of our benefit pro programs and packages, and um, Leanne had mentioned some of the things earlier, so um, you know we'll touch more upon those. But um, we do offer full-time employees benefits as well as employees up to who work up to 20 hours are regularly scheduled. Um, so um, we absolutely have. Um, choices and options, which we're um, thrilled about. Our options could range from a 90% PPO that is offered through the health plan. We also have an 80% gold PPO that's offered through um, Highmark West Virginia, as well as a high deductible plan as well that they can choose from. So we have some choices and offerings for We have a lot of options. Well. That's great. And I totally took advantage of the full benefit package for a part-time employee because when I first started working here my children were small and I wanted to work part-time and it was a much better benefit package than um, my husband's full-time job and that was such a help and a great advantage Absolutely. you know to work part-time but have a full-time benefit package. Absolutely. That was great. It is. We do have a question okay. from one of our viewers. Um, it says here, in the future, will you consider extending the tuition coverage to a spouse in addition to dependent children? Possibly. I mean, um, one of the things that I think is really um, important to note is that we are always looking for ways to be competitive and to attract talent. So I wouldn't ever say that we close the door on options. Um, so that's definitely something that we might consider doing in the future if it makes sense. Absolutely. Okay. So we're keeping an open mind. Correct. <laughs> okay, great. Um, do you, okay, you already talked about the fact that you offer more than one plan. Sure. And there's also, um, in one of the plans, if, if you use, and I know um, Leanne touched on this a little bit, if you use WV medicine providers, you have a lower deductible correct. and... Uh, a, a higher percentage of coverage, That's correct? correct. Absolutely, that is correct. And one of the things I wanted to mention too, in addition to the three options that you have with us, we also um, offer um, dental, vision, care, we offer flexible spending accounts, we offer life insurance coverage as well, and so those are important parts of, of our overall offerings too. Our uh, dental care has both enhanced as well as um, basic coverage that you can utilize through United Concordia. Um, we also have a vision care program that is through Davis Vision, and that helps with contact lenses, um, your um, eye appointments, glasses that you might need to um, you know, off offset some of those costs and savings there. We also have a flexible spending account that um, you can participate in, um, as well as um, one for your dependent care, because we want to really try to help offset some of those health care costs that are you know, part of our employees' daily lives. And so caring for our employees means helping them to be able to offset some of those costs that are you know, they're seeing day to day. So it's flexible spending not only for um, health care, but for uh, child well. care. That's correct. And that's always... It's a great benefit. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's always a good one, too. Absolutely. And I know we touched on uh, the tuition benefit programs, yes. but we have several of them we do. for employees and dependents. Can you explain a little bit how those work? Yeah. Well, we first have a student assistance um, program and that is um, an enhanced benefit on top of what a um, student loan payment might be so our employee pays their normal student loan and in addition to that we offer them a hundred dollars to help offset um, and be able to pay that off quicker so um, that's our assistance program the student loan assistance program then we also have the tuition um, tuition reimbursement program so that's tuition reimbursement for both the employee as well as one that we're super proud of is the dependent one that Leanne had mentioned before as well. I unfortunately didn't get the chance because my children are older, but when I talk to people about coming on board, that is such a terrific benefit to be able to share. Yes. That um, if you're here with us for three years, your dependents can go to WVU for you know tuition free. That's amazing. It is. There's also a, a, a little bit of a... Um, a lesser um, a program sub, that like we a offer. subsidy for if you go if you go to a different school different school That's if it's correct. not WB. but when I tell people about that benefit they are just thrilled to hear it and and it's it's really a driver to attract people to come on board truly 
Well, it's it saved me a lot of money. Absolutely. With three sons that went to WVU. <laughs> that that was very helpful. It sure <laughs> is. Definitely. Absolutely. Big yep. benefit. Big benefit. Absolutely. Um, as um, AVP of Talent Ac Acquisition, yeah. can you talk a little bit about what the war culture is like here at WV Medicine? Because I know yeah. you talk to people from, <laughs> you know, we have people coming from all over the country. Sure. And I find, you know, when we do interviews with them, they're always surprised by the culture here. It's not what they were expecting. It's an amazing culture, truly. I mean, it's so great to talk about. And sometimes I even use my own personal example of when I was interviewing here. I was amazed by how many people interviewed me, talked about the mission and how each of us can play a role in achieving that mission. And it was just, it drew me here because I wanted to be part of something that, that felt like that. And so when I talk to people, I tell them that no matter what position you're in, you do have an ability to contribute to that mission and to make a difference. Um, and people really love that idea of, of becoming something that big and, and, and serving others in that capacity. It's pretty neat. Wow. I know. I, I do think it's, it's what really makes WV Medicine special. Very special. It really does. So um, is there anything else about the benefits package that we left out that you want to... Well, I think we'd have to touch upon, of course, we have a retirement program of 403B. Oh, my gosh. How could I forget that's that? Important. That's mm. an important component. I for do that, sure. too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, um, and we have a nice match. So, I mean, yes, we, uh, we will match 4.5%, up to 4.5% of the contribution. So it's, it's really um, put in place so that employees have a well-rounded package. So we're helping to take care of their dependent care as well as what happens when they leave us and decide to retire too. So we want to make sure that we are ha having a, a well-rounded um, benefit package to offer them. And so of course retirement is part of that as well. Yeah. And that's, that's again, another awesome program yeah. for part-time and full-time. Correct. Up to 20, um, 20 hours. Yep. Good. Good. Okay. Um, so, um, What's the most important thing you want our viewers to know about working at WVU Medicine? Um, I think the most important thing is that um, we do take care of our employees. Um, the question came up and, and it was one that, you know, is on the board now, right? So we're going to have to think about, you know, continuing to evolve as far as our offerings to our employees. And, and we want people to come and, and work here and have happy, full, whole lives. And so um, that's really an important thing. I really think that we are a growing and dynamic um, health system. And yeah. as Leanne mentioned, there is so much to offer. Um, it's not just one hospital. It's so many opportunities across the board that people can partake in. And so I do think that the, the fact that we are growing and dynamic and have terrific um, um, people on board and we're looking to always attract additional talent, we want people to know that. We want to bring um, people on board that can help us achieve our mission. And if you want to feel like you're making a difference, WVU Medicine is the right place for you. Excellent. All right. So again, um, how and where do we apply? <laughs> Come to our website. It's uh, www.wvmedicine.org backslash careers. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. I, hey, Elaine, thank you so much for, for your information. Me. I think this has been very informative. I think we covered a lot of ground, and we hopefully we've answered all of everybody's questions. So thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that will bring us to the end of this edition of Tuesday Talks. If you're looking for more job information on job opportunities at WVU Medicine, visit wvumedicine.org slash careers. I'm Mary Ravazio Menard, and on behalf of Leanne Kaminsky, Elaine Curtis, and everyone at WVU Medicine, Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Tuesday Talks.